Dinosaurs are widely popular for a host of reasons. Their size and shapes have made them a group of animals that are impossible to ignore. And another interesting aspect of these creatures is one bestowed on them by humans, their names. Dinosaur names are integral, as they add a snippet into what the dinosaur was like. However, through the years, certain names have appeared which have more or less missed the mark on being useful or even accurate, sometimes leading to extremely backward ideas on the dinosaurs to which they were given. And these five got it especially bad. The first one is perhaps the most classic case of an accurate naming, the oviraptor. Its name means egg thief, as a false Fossils found were believed to have depicted a crime scene where the oviraptor had died while trying to steal the eggs of a protoceratops. As a result of its name, the oviraptor has been portrayed in many movies as a thief, as seen in the animated movie Dinosaur and Jurassic World Dominion. It's a really tragic name, as since its discovery, paleontologists have started to believe more and more that the oviraptor was not stealing eggs, rather protecting them. After the original find, more of its kind started to be discovered in similar nesting poses, while in vicinity to both eggs and young juveniles that were oviraptors. In an ironic twist, it appears that oviraptors were actually good parents who got framed for infanticide. Talk about injustice. And the oviraptor is not the only well-known dinosaur with an inaccurate name, as the next one is a fan favorite as well, the Stegosaurus. As many know, the Stegosaurus is famous for its tail and its iconic plates, which unknown to some was the source of its inaccurate name. Stegosaurus was named by the famous paleontologist Othniel Marsh who originally thought it was a turtle-like creature and that the plates were some sort of armor that would have been layered like roof tiles, thus giving it a name that means roof lizard. But as we now know, the Stegosaurus's plates were not layered flat side down like roof tiles, instead being vertical and spaced away from each other. However, despite being anatomically incorrect, the name Stegosaurus was still somewhat on the right track, unlike this next one that completely missed the boat. The Cetiosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur hailing from what is now Europe, living during the Jurassic period. It was fairly small for a sauropod, only reaching 50 feet in length or 16 meters and a weight of 11 tons. But despite being somewhat small for a sauropod, its weight is what ultimately led it to its widely wrong name. It was discovered very early on in 1844, before sauropods had been scientifically described and even before the term dinosauria had been created. As there was no information yet on sauropods, the describer a Cetiosaurus, Sir Richard Owen, thought that it was much too large to be walking on land all the time, and thus found it to be a crocodile of giant proportions, leading to its name, that translates to whale lizard or sea monster lizard. It wasn't until 1869 that it was finally recognized as a sauropod, however the name stayed. Another dinosaur that got it just as bad as the Cetiosaurus is Sarcolestes. It was discovered in the late 1800s and was identified by only a mandible and one complete tooth. With a piece of the jaw and a tooth, one would perhaps expect that at the very least, the diet of this creature would be accurately guessed. And with the tooth in hand, the diet of this dinosaur was reflected in its terrifying name, Sarcolestes, which means flesh robber. There was only one problem. It wasn't a robber, and it didn't even eat meat. Rather, it was a vegan. Eight years after its initial discovery, another look at the remains revealed that it had been an ankylosaurian all along, that hailed from the Middle Jurassic. The suspected reason for the confusion is that ankylosaurian possessed plant-shaped teeth with serrations that give an illusion of being sharp. In the case of Sarcolestes, its teeth, although looking somewhat sharp, would have been used to gnash plant material for consumption, not to tear flesh. Unlike the case with Sarcolestes and Cetiosaurus, there is also times in which a dinosaur name becomes inaccurate, not because of a misunderstanding in its nature, but rather the translation did not come out as planned. As seen with the Scorpio Venator, this was a carnivorous theropod hailing from Argentina that was of medium size, coming in at around 20 feet or 6 meters in length and possessing a weight of 1.67 tons. It was discovered in a formation that had a high propensity of scorpions. Along with this, it was also believed to have been an active hunter. The group of paleontologists who found the fossils of this dinosaur ended up combining the two factors above, eventually landing on the name Scorpio Venator, meaning Scorpion Hunter. And as one can see, this caused quite a bit of confusion, as it comes off as if it had a diet made of primarily scorpions. But paleontologists think this to be false, as no evidence of them hunting scorpions have been found. Many believe it actually hunted baby sauropods and eggs, while also scavenging adult sauropod carcasses when presented with the chance. In defense of all these names, 
The paleontologists were pressed for time and had limited information on the fossils, guaranteeing that there would be inaccuracies at some point. And it does provide everyone with some amusing cases. Also, these dinosaurs shouldn't be picked on too hard, as they are not the only ones to have suffered from improper naming, as it is difficult to correctly name every dinosaur that gets discovered, which already sits at over 700 valid species.